Welcome to the thrilling world of dangerous game adventures. Dive into the heart of the dark continent where each moment pulsates with excitement. Witness the raw, untamed beauty of nature and feel the adrenaline surge. From the shadows of the wilderness to the echoing roars, every episode is a new chase. Dangerous Game Adventures, where the wild calls and adventure awaits. Our protagonist, Doug, embarks on a thrilling journey, leaving the familiar behind in the United States. He's all set, his heart pulsating with excitement and anticipation. His destination? The untamed landscapes of Tanzania. His mission? To track down the majestic Cape Buffalo. Guiding him on this wild adventure is the experienced outfitter, Yako from Game Trackers Africa. As Doug's plane touches down on the landing strip at camp, the Tanzanian wilderness unfolds before him. The raw beauty of Tanzania engulfs Doug, a stark contrast to his homeland. His first encounter is with Giaco, his outfitter from Game Trackers Africa, who greets him with a warm, welcoming smile. Exhausted from the long journey but exhilarated by the prospect of his adventure, Doug finally settles in at the camp. to start writing a book but I can't remember all the stuff so I need a reunion <laughs> periodically yeah. of all the clients so you can bring all the memories back but this certainly helps a lot. Maybe that. Yes. Doug's ultimate adventure begins. The Tanzanian wilderness, vast and untamed, is a playground for the Cape Buffalo he seeks. It's a game of patience, strategy and respect for the natural world. Not a, you have to go to a specialty shop in yeah. Canada. Oh, yeah, I've been a lot of town. I've been anywhere yeah. in town every year as well. Yeah. That's something that's really good. Really, 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 Have you ever wondered what the first morning of a safari looks like? It begins with the symphony of nature serving as your alarm clock.
With breakfast finished and all prepped, the group ventures into the bush, eager to embrace the unknown. As the sun rises higher, the bush comes alive, and with it our journey truly begins. There's a certain rhythm to the wilderness, a pulse that beats in time with the rustling leaves and distant animal calls echoing through the vast expanse. Doug is introduced to the hunting concession, his eyes wide with anticipation as he learns to decipher the network of animal trails and signs that crisscross the terrain. As the day wears on, every moment brings a new discovery, every sound a new story. As the sun begins to set, the group gathers together, each carrying memories of a day well spent. Today, the whispers of the wind told stories of a land unspoiled. We've learned not just about the area and its inhabitants, but also about our own profound connection with the natural world. This episode is brought to you by African Hunting Gazette. Dive into the world of African Hunting Gazette. We're more than just a magazine. We're a quality journal presenting all aspects of hunting in Africa. Our pages take you on a journey, one hunt at a time. Axe bullets, African Express engineered monolithic bullets. As the early morning light breaks, a thrilling hunt begins. The air is cool and crisp, brimming with anticipation. The hunters disembark, and with the sighting of a herd of Cape Buffalo, the stalk begins. Silently, stealthily, the hunters move closer, eyes trained on their target. Spotting a bull who broke away from the herd, our hunter identifies this as a mature buffalo bull and readies for the shot. The moment of truth arrives. Heart pounding, breath held, the hunter takes his shot. The sound of the shot echoes through the air, a testament to the hunter's resolve. The bull's reaction is instantaneous. Not the perfect angle for shot placement, but the bull is hit hard. Following the trail, it's not long before they find the buffalo bedded down. The thrill of the chase morphs into a quiet respect for the mighty beast they've pursued. With a final shot, the magnificent buffalo bull is finished. A successful day hunting in East Africa comes to an end.
<laughs> they already turned and you heard them. They were facing then and I just saw the backside sticking out and yeah. you know. So remember next time if you see black shoot, yeah. don't wait yeah. for me. You can, yeah. you can never shoot enough. Yeah. But he did a good job man. He was I just, when you went on this side me, oh I'm not gonna pull right now because that would have blown your eardrum up. So I did say, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you couldn't see him, yeah. You know. Anyway. Pretty much done. Well done, my friend. Perfect. Great bull, eh? Nice old bull. Nice old bull. Big body. See that dew left, that dew left here on the Well, just for starters, this is not a maverick shot. The sun is damn sharp out here. <laughs> well, Doug, welcome back. It's great to have you back here in the saloon with us. Um, we're hunting out of a Tungi camp again and um, you know yesterday we we're you know just going slowly around you know get a feel and see if we get lucky there's no big rush you know um, you out here and I get thinking a pretty relaxed safari but obviously we've got some goals we want to obtain and uh, and meet but um, we'll get there but yeah today we got up with a great start on this old bull um, came out into a new area here um, territory for us and uh, found quite a bunch of dagger boys just playing around here so and uh, so yeah, we walked for a walk to uh, went for a bit of a walk around, and wind wasn't really working with us. And then uh, we decided to go back to the truck. And then on the way back to the truck, you spotted this buffalo standing there underneath the tree. What was going through yeah. your mind? Oh, I you know I just just saw him there, and I you guys are walking by him. He's right there. So <laughs> it just it's amazing to to be back here in Africa and. You know, the dog of bulls, just amazing. Yeah. It's the best time to be in uh, in Africa. And you so know. happy that we're back with you and uh, having a great time. No, that's awesome stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, you know, and we believe these are two of the guys we were chasing earlier and they circled right back to where they started. And um, so, and obviously, you know, I was walking on the GPS and nearing the road and stuff, you know, you're kind of getting in relaxed mode yeah. and son of a gun, who believed <laughs> they'd come back, you know. So, a job well done. Great shooting. You know, the angle wasn't perfect, but... That's where the experience comes in. You got to make things count when needed, and uh, you did just that. And uh, as I always say, another one page for conservation. Yes. Thank you very much. Beautiful, friend. beautiful dog of bull. Thank you. Absolutely. Can't get any yes. better. Doesn't get any better than this. No. Perfect. Another morning breaks on the dark continent, and with it comes an adventure like no other. As the first light of day spills across the vast landscape, our hunter, Doug, awakens to the promise of a thrilling hunt. Not far from camp, a sable bull catches his keen eyes. The pulse of the wild quickens. The chase is on. Barely has the day begun and already Doug finds himself locked in a dance with the majestic sable bull. In the wild, timing is everything. And Doug, he is a master of moments. 
him. He takes a breath and he pulls the trigger. The perfect shot rings out, finding its mark. And like that, Doug's shot pierces the morning silence, a testament to his skill and the wild's unforgiving dance. Look like at the one you spot yourself. <laughs> it's like you're just standing here right next to the road. There's nothing more perfect. This guy's probably never seen a human being, <laughs> no. the way he reacts. He's like, you know, well, doesn't smell like a lion. He's probably not a lion. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that puts an end to a boring morning. <laughs> we went from sleeping to <laughs> It's the fancy <laughs> As the day wears on, the game changes. The Daga boy enters the scene. The intensity heightens as Jocko steps up to this new challenge. With the wind as his trusted ally, he positions himself for the perfect stalk. The air is thick with anticipation. Every second counts. Doug's fingers rest on the trigger, his breath steady. And then, the moment of truth. Just as the bull turns, Doug's shot rings out, dropping the bull in its tracks. Saber and the buffalo. Yeah, perfect. Don't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doug, great day today. It's your 53rd birthday, and uh, it's awesome that you came to spend it with us here in the saloon. And, uh, well, I don't think any man has, could have um, given himself a better birthday present than a great saber bull we got this morning, and then this old, old Dugger boy this afternoon. Things just came about right quick and, you know, you made it count again. Hey, it's just my pleasure to be here. We love it here uh, in the saloon and, and hunting with you. So I wouldn't want to spend my birthday anywhere else. So just awesome day. Like you said, a beautiful sable and now this beautiful old dog, a bull. Hey, you right. can't get any better than that. Absolutely. No, it was just a gift, gift from above and uh, all just worked out well. And actually with this one, we were really cutting the wind, but you know, this bull is so old, you know, I don't think he really cared too much anymore. And again, you know, it just couldn't be a better example of um, practicing what we're preaching in terms of, of conservation and selective hunting. So job, job well done. Thank you for participating in it and um, great shot again. Job well done. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. As the sun sets on the dark continent, the echoes of today's hunt linger in the air. The thrill of the chase, the precision of the perfect shot, and the exhilaration of the stalk have painted a vibrant picture of our day. Yet, as dusk blankets our camp, the promise of another day stirs the embers of anticipation, the wild whispers of new adventures of uncharted territories and of beasts yet to be encountered. Tomorrow, a new dawn will break, and with it, well, only the wild knows what adventures await. As the first light of day peeks over the horizon, the Selu Game Reserve awakens from its slumber. Anticipation hangs heavy in the air as our hunters, hidden in the blind they meticulously set up the day before, sit in patient silence. The stakes are high, the target is formidable. 
With every passing moment, the tension builds. They're not after just any game today, they're after a crocodile. Suddenly, the stillness of the morning is broken by a splash. A formidable crocodile has taken the bait. Doug's eyes are glued to the scope of his rifle. Precision is key. Doug squeezes the trigger. The shot echoes across the reserve, a testament to his skill and patience. A perfect shot. The echo fades, leaving behind the triumphant silence of a successful hunt. This one is not as badly blown up as the previous one. <laughs> well done. Good shooting. As the sun rises higher in the sky, another day in the Silu Game Reserve begins. Its stories as diverse and captivating as the wildlife that calls it home. AHG Trophy Shipping. Streamline your hunting endeavors with AHG Trophy Shipping. We say, save money, hunt more. We're your trusted partner in delivering trophies safely and efficiently. Afton Safari Lodge. Unfurl the adventure at Afton Safari Lodge, your gateway to the heart of Africa. We're the best start and finish to your African safari, providing a unique blend of comfort, convenience, and beauty. A quick stalk on Cape Buffalo works out well for the group. First shot must, must just been off to the left a little bit, right? 
because or to his right because it's all he's leading off the trail right mm -hmm. so just off center or something right yeah, I think he's bigger than the first one. Yeah, yeah. That we got <laughs> like two years ago. Oh, <laughs> that one. Yeah. Let's we'll see what this one. Do you remember I got it? Well done, my friend. Woo. Another double. <laughs> An unexpected double. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This one, this one wasn't quite staged, but <laughs> you know, it just worked out that way. <laughs> well done. Good shooting. Yeah. Doug is now after a hippo. He specifies to Yako that he wants a hippo on land. A difficult task, but if anyone can get it done, it's Yako. They find a lone bull in a thicket and get Doug into shooting position. Doug makes a perfect shot once again and drops the bull in its tracks. Well, I tell you what, Doug, we're in a catch-22 situation here. Yeah. Because we're walking down the lake here and Baraka saw the people standing here and we were like 20 yards away and um, couldn't see like much knobs and the tusk and stuff but then I saw the blood coming out of his nose so he must have been in a fight or we'll see just now if he's been wounded somewhere else or whatever but um, it was a, a catch-22 situation for us and I think we made the right decision here relieved him out of his misery anyway and uh, makes up for a good hunt Perfect. Well, stalked into a hippo, it couldn't yeah. have been any better. <laughs> you know, dryland hippo is always a lot of fun, and um, you know, that's all you can see the head, has got a big head and everything else on him. Um, he did a great, great shot there through the brush, um, dropped him right in his tracks. Awesome, well done. Perfect. Well done, and congratulations. <laughs> Doug, we're uh, just about. We halfway through the safari on the two week safari that we are out here in the Sulu and had a busy few days the last days. Got a hell of a nice buffalo yesterday. Um, prior to that, the previous day, I hit on the way back. It was a bit of a slow day, but uh, you know, got to finish it off at the end of the day with a, a great uh, mahina, very big mahina. And um, in the meantime, we've been um, on the search for a hippo. We've uh, gotten up a few mornings early to try and them ambush them before they uh, get back into the water but um, you know we just you know touch and go you know didn't find ourselves in the right place but um, yeah walking down here in the lake towards the camp you know we had about a two mile two and a half mile walk and uh, about halfway through it we um, encountered this bull that was just standing here behind me and um, you know we had good body on him and stuff you know but we had obviously a lot of branches here to shoot through and to to see and to figure out who he is and what he's got and everything else um, and then uh, Baraka was a little bit in front of us the one tracker and he confirmed it's a male um, because initially I wasn't too much impressed because the typical knobs that it forms on the tusks wasn't all that prominent 
so it kind of you know throws you off a little bit and um but then i noticed the blood coming out of the nose and so we still haven't quite established what caused that but um you know but this is full of all these other little holes and stuff you know whatever else might have caused that but anyway um we decided well you know we're in a catch-22 situation here um close quarters you know he's looking straight at us uh, there was a chance it might turn for the water but you know it is one of those things we had to make the call bull giving the uh, bush giving us the the opportunity and oh you made it count again job well done yes oh how did, how did you see it all happen here through the through the brush oh it was just you know as we walked up and when you stopped and pointed him and you know i had turned turn my scope right down to even see him he was so right. close and right. yeah i was I was just ecstatic to to walk into to a hippo and shoot yeah. him on land. That's just awesome. Absolutely, it, yeah. it couldn't have been a more perfect morning. No, well, and that's that's the ultimate deal, you know, trying to get him on dry land. That's what we've been trying to do, at least in shallow water, you know. And um, well, then we got him down, and you know, we um, opened his mouth, and we got a pleasant surprise. <laughs> um, the the tusks inside growing at a slight angle inwards, and that. Um, a lot for the lower tusks um, to grow past the upper ones so they never had that wear and tear so we've got a really nice trophy here um bush really took well care of us today and i think we're both ecstatic about it yeah just couldn't be more uh, excited uh, yeah like you say it's a bonus with the the big tusks and everything that's just a bonus they yeah. just you know we walked uh for about two and a half hours to get here yeah. and uh it's just another great hunt. Sure. Big brush and stuff, still some to go, but yeah. makes up for the fun and looking forward to having some more in the next few days. Perfect. Good job, well done. Thank great you. stuff. Congratulations. A late breakfast and a relaxed day. It's Doug's last day in the saloon, and today the group will drive around taking in the beauty of Tanzania and its wildlife before the long journey home begins. In episode two of Dangerous Game Adventures, we join Ed as he travels to South Africa to hunt with Pete from Game Trackers Africa. He is accompanied by longtime family friends, Gareth and Shay. The group takes on a huge challenge as they hunt one of South Africa's pristine hunting areas. In their sights are a total of five Cape Buffalo, one white rhino, and a generous quantity of Plains game. 
join us on our next adventure.